What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. And today I'll be doing a deck profile on the Nubatama Shinarui deck for the brand new set GBD12 Dragon King's Awakening. So the set gives Nubatama brand new cards so that you will be able to do more domination. And this time our brand new Vanguard gives a uh, brand new strike allows us to dominate the opponent's Vanguard. So that's actually something really interesting and something I really like because it gives Nubatama so much more control that you ever need. So I'll be doing a deck profile on how you should build a deck and how you can play the deck. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, for the great trees, we play four copies of the Trial Deck Shirinui. So you can get these from the brand new Trial Deck. Uh, if you're not wrong, it's called Evil Eye Sovereign. So he, what he does is at the beginning of your right face, he may choose a card on your opponent's drop zone. If you do, your opponent calls a card to the regard circle. At the end of the turn, you retire that unit. Okay, the reason why this, card, this effect exists because sometimes against deck like Pale Moon, which they do not have any rear guards, you won't be able to perform dominate effectively. So this guarantees you that you will be dominating every single turn, even against certain matchups. So it's something nice to have. You could, and of course your opponent won't be getting the unit. You they will retire the unit at the end of the turn. So it is a very very good card against certain matchups. Okay, his main ability is um when you, whenever you perform a strike, you can uh, select one of your opponent's rear guards and stand dominated. So it's all free. So without counter blast, you just control one of your opponent's rear guard and dominate. That unit gives us 4k power and it attacks your opponent's other unit. So it is good because um, let's say you perform strike for free, no uh, no cost. You can select one of your opponent's rear guards to attack their vanguard immediately, just like that. Um, so this is one way that Nubatama depletes your opponent's hand size by attacking, giving your opponent small pokes so that they disturb their hand. It is one of my favorite strategies because hand advantage is really important in this game. So, 4 copies of Shiranui, your main vanguard. So, next up, 3 copies of another set of Shiranui. Uh, he's the older Shiranui. His ability is... He is from... Uh, it's a reprint from GB11 and Reckless Rampage, Rampage, which is the tactical booster. But, um, thank goodness you can get them from the reprint because otherwise it's really hard to get. Alright, his ability is very different from the dominant counterpart. His strike... Strike effect is count blast one. If your G unit strikes, you may pay the cost. So when you strike, count blast one. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and bind it face up. So your opponent is gonna uh, lose a unit for a turn, and your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and discards it. So count blast one make your opponent lose a rear guard for intercepting, and make your opponent lose one hand size. That's good because uh, this way, if you're going to some uh, big place such as your strikes like these or these. Uh, your opponent will have very small hand size, which means they are pr pretty much gonna die that turn. So I kind of like his ability as well. Uh, both both of them are hand depleting skills, which is good. Right. So great tools. We play four copies of the brand new bear. Uh, this bear is back. He used to be a uh, old Nubatami unit from the Link Joker era. One of my favorite cards. So when this card is placed on the Vanguard or Regard Circle, buy up to one of one card on the top of your deck face down. So instead of binding your opponent's cards, you bind your own cards. Uh, this is good because it is not reliant on uh, depleting opponents. So sometimes doing damage to your opponent, so-called disturbing your opponent actually requires them to have certain conditions. But for this condition, it is pretty much guaranteed because you will get the plus. All right. So instead of minusing your opponent, this guy gives you the plus. All right. How do you get the plus, you ask? So generation break one, once per turn, auto skill. When a dominator attacks, unit attacks during your turn so basically when you dominate one of your opponent's regards you can dominate attack you can pay the cost of one counter blast if you do choose the fa choose a face down card on the vine zone and add it to your hand if you do this in case of 10k power so what this means is um definitely i recommend you to call this guy after you have gb1 activate so that you can get his full plus so this what this means is uh wait while you have his while you call him during your turn, you can buy one of the top cards of the deck. Then, when one of your dominate attacks, your opponents betray themselves, you can come blast one, draw one card from the so-called top card top deck effect, and get a huge 10k power. That is pretty good. Especially, um, it gives your regards the push it needs to finish off the game. So, I really like this card. Next up is three copies of the giant shuriken guy. I don't know it's his name is basically a style dragon full ride a really cool unit once per turn choose one of your 
Soul Blast 1 and choose a card on your opponent's drop zone and call it, the opponent call it to your open regret circle. This ability is also very important because you're fighting against certain decks. Some people might actually try to retire all their regards during an turn, such as Shadow Paladins, so that you won't be able to dominate them. This guy ensures that you get a dominate. You get you get to dominate opponents. So yeah, Soul Blast 1 is a pretty much a free cost and you get to dominate one's opponent unit. The second ability is when another unit do attacks during your turn, if you have a Shinri Vanguard, it's a 12k, 11k attacker, so it's pretty okay. You just that to help you guarantee your dominate, which is nice. Oh, oh actually, this is actually very important because uh, sometimes if you are going into Mugen Lord, Mugen Lord, and if you happen to strike him first, you really dominate one. And let's say you're going to use Mugen Lord ability to re-dominate everything, you might want to call more units so that you can re-dominate everything. Now you guys get my drift. Yeah. And you guys might need to see a gameplay to know what how that works. Alright, so next up is three copies of this Trial Rack Dragon. Um Self Dragon Genkai. Genkai Oredu. So what it does is um effect skill, regard ability. When a dominated unit attacks during your turn, so whenever you dominate one of con bring control of one of your opponent's units. You can come last one and so blast one. If you do, you can draw one card and gain plus two gate power. Very nice to get some draw draw cards in order to protect against the opponent's attack. And yeah, gains plus two K so you can solo with an 11 K attack. Okay. So for great ones, we play four copies of the new perfect guard. Not really new, but it's GBT 11. Okay, so it's just a standard perfect guard. But his second ability is one of my favorite uh, retriever abilities. So in the drop zone, choose another of your stealth dragon uh, Utsuroi from the drop zone and put it on top and put it on the top bottom of your deck. When the un when the attack dominated hits the Vanguard during your turn, which is uh, quite likely because there are some cards that give you so many dominate and your opponents definitely gonna take one of them, you get to get this card back into your hand. So while this two's in drop zone, one of the dominant hits you can ho ho trigger it back. So it goes back to your hand, this goes back to the bottom deck. So yeah, it's a pretty consistent card. And it goes back for free. So yeah, you're not losing anything for a free perfect guard. Nice. Four copies of Dogo. Because Dogo, Ninja Dogo helps you search for Shiranui. So you could go, when this card's placed on the regular circle, you can search for one of these. And it's just a strike helper. Two copies of um, Stealth Dragon Tenri. Tenri used to be a promo, but reprinted in... GB11, um, GB1 during your turn, your Vanguard's with Shirui has all, all of your opponent's Vanguard's name, clans, races, and nations. Um, this is important because if sometimes your opponent play cards with Lord, which means if they con if your Vanguard is not like the certain clan, you won't be able to attack. So uh, this is just good against Lord in a way. But his most my favorite ability is his second ability. When this when a unit that hits a vanguard during a turn that this unit is attacking attack of booster you may pay the cost of putting this guy into the soul if you do you won't choose the card from his or her hand and discards it so yeah eating the hand is my favorite next is um, two copies of this guy is a red dragon uh, basically whenever your opponent whenever you dominate, dominate your opponent you can put this guy in the soul and so charge contract one so you get free soul and contract one the counter is very important because uh, you want to count blast so they can get lots of awesome blasts. Two copies of the Troll Deck Dragon. Mm. Stealth Dragon Sezui. Sezui's ability is um, GB1. When a dominated unit attacks during your turn, this unit gets a streaky power until the end of your turn. All right. This guy is perfect com combined with Mujin Lord, which allows you to dominate a lot of stuff. So you dominate this ability stack. So let's say you dominate four of your opponent's rear guards. He's gonna gain uh, three times four, which is twelve k. Very nice. Very pretty big. So yeah, um, yeah, huge booster. Very nice. And one tech copy of um, Stealth Rogue Fuki. Fuki is good because um, you combine him with cards like uh, Generation Rares, and you'll be doing huge damage. Fuki's ability is. Uh, activate ability, rear guard circle, count blast one and put this guy into the soul. You have a number of vanguard and tr and the number of uh, cards in your opponent's hand is three or more. You, you can choose a card at random your opponent's hand and bind it face down. Very good because um you could randomly bind their perfect guard and they're dead. And then at the end of the turn, at the end of the turn, your opponent put that card back into the hand. 
So yeah, um, you use this guy. You you call this guy. You reduce his hand to four. Bind. He left three hand. Swing. That's pretty much game. And this guy as well. Because if your opponent guards, uh, he's gonna discard more cards. So he's definitely gonna lose all his hand. Yeah, this is one uh, good finisher attack in. Attack this guy for our finisher. Alright, so let's go on to the triggers. So triggers, you play 8 crits. This is uh, Shiranui crits. When a Shiranui attacks, go to soul, draw on card, plus by K. Uh, this is counter charging crits. So activate, go to soul, can counter charge 1, just in case you need counter blast. 4 copies of Mago. Uh, Traudax has given us Mago, perfect. 4 copies of this cute girl. Yeah, the FC uh, heal triggers, which have some certain effects when you use with the certain G Guardians. So we play two copies of the starter from the Trout deck. So what it does is Stealth Dragon Madoi. The reason why I play uh, two of him is because he gives you uh, it gives you a, a bit of soul charge and a plus one and it's free of cost. So you could actually use him in early game as a pioneer if you need. Then go to soul, then call another one. Let's do it again. Okay, so whenever you perform dominate. Whenever a dominant unit attacks during your turn, you can pay the cost. Go to soul. You can draw a card and choose one of your cho choose out the one of any player's regards, including opponent's regards, because sometimes you dominate some units and it might not have enough power to like attack their own betray their own vanguard, you can power up that unit. So yeah, sometimes I use him because you want to power up your opponent's regards so that the dominated unit can do some damage. Two copies. Right, so let's go on to the main uh, main part of the deck, which is the strikes. Four copy of Mujin Lord, one of the best finishers in Nobatama. Uh, bad mid range two finisher. What it does is count plus one and choose a face down card in your G zone and turn it face up with the same name. Sorry, so you have to turn it uh, same name face up. If you do, um, choose up to the same number of a player's regards equals the number of face up card in your G zone. So I recommend you to use this guy at the second strike onwards because second strike onwards you can. Basically, you see, you think about it. First strike, if you use him, you have one face up. Second strike, you already have three, so you can uh, dominate three units. There's a lot of units dominated because uh, three extra attacks just does so much damage. So select three of your regards, so called. And if it's gonna be the next strike, you would basically dominate all your opponent's regards. Yeah, so it's very good. It's a free cost as well. Not really free cost. Come plus one, yeah. Come plus one is a very cheap cost for such a devastating effect. Right, that's why Muzi Not is one of the best Nobatamas. Four copies of Stuff Dragon. Stuff Dragon uh, Mugen Tembu. Mugen Tembu is another card that you use from pretty much use it at your first strike. A uh, once button dominate ability. Come plus one. Select a face down card with Jizel with the face same name. So turn it face up. And choose one one of your bonus regards and gives a tricky power. And for each card in your G zone, it gives us 3k power. So yeah, if you have a lot of G cards in the G zone, that betraying unit will be quite powerful. Stand and dominate a unit and attack one of your opponent's units. So yeah, it's just a basic one. Come plus one to dominate one card. It's pretty nice. I still prefer Mujin Lord, but for first strike, definitely going for him. Right, so here are some of the finishes we play. One copy of the brand new card from the set. Uh, he is the uh, Evil Eyes Hades Emperor Shirui Mukuro. Very cool name. So what he does is he's able to dominate your opponent's vanguard. So unfortunately, it's not as broken as sound, but it's a still it is still a very good unit. What he does is Soul Blast two and choose a face down card in your G zone and turn it face up. Choose a card from your hand and discard it. All right. So discarding one card is not that bad because um you get some plus. For of it anyway. Dominate all of your opponent's vanguard. The word says all because sometimes if you play against Legion, they have two vanguards. Alright? Dominate your opponent's vanguard and stand and they attack all of your opponent's rearguards. So imagine this. Or Let's say you feel like that. You dominate your opponent's um, vanguard. He attacks himself. He attacks all the units. So yeah, um, pretty much your opponent's field is dead. So at the cost of Soul Blast 2 and discarding 1, you destroy your opponent's field and when your opponent's vanguard get dominated, attack and betray its own clan, you get a twin drive as well. So you basically getting 5 dry checks from a simple ability like this. This card is so good because it gives you hard control. Basically, it is um a card that allows you to gain a, a massive 
feel control on your opponent and get give you additional hand size. So that is really really cool actually. Yeah, so that's pretty much what it does. He's not the best finisher, that's why we only play one copy of him. But if your opponent able to have huge few few size, definitely go for him and just wreck your opponent's uh, few for sure. So it's a very good card. Next up is one of the best finishers in the game, Nubatama, uh, Nubatama style. So when this guy is in GB8, so unfortunately he's a GB8, but otherwise he's actually a fantastic card. Um, because, yeah, he had to make it GB8, otherwise it would be very broken. Alright, so when your opponent unit splits on the Guardian Circle from your hand, you may counter blast one or soul blast one. So it is very flexible. So if you have no counter blast, you can always use your soul. You know, so you can use a counter blast. If you do, your opponent chooses two cards from his or her hand and discard them. One thing to note, the reason why this card is so powerful is because, um, let's say your opponent only has three cards in the hand, all right? All right, usually if you have three cards in your hand, what do you do against a card that's attacking like this? All right, I'll use a perfect guard, all right? However, if your opponent uses the perfect guard to guard already, it, since your turn player priority, very hard to explain, but whoever's turn it is, he has the um, turn player priority, he has to discard the two cards even before he can pay for his perfect guard. So let's say he plays the perfect guard, he will lose his, immediately lose his two cards in hand. Oh oh, I can't pay for the cost of perfect guard. I'm dead. So that is why if you reduce your opponent hand size during your turn, during this strike turn, you pretty much win the game. It is a very very powerful card. And let's not forget that uh, it is an auto ability. So when your opponent's unit is placed on the guardian circle from your hand, so let's say you perform stride on Shinori Oboro. You dominate one of uh, dominate one of opponent's rear guard, and he attacks. Any opponent happen to guard it, he has to discard another two cards when you come last one and so last one. So that is very very powerful, especially if you are doing multiple uh, dominate attacks. Your opponent will pretty much just drop his whole hand just to guard. Yep. So this is a very 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 powerful finisher. Most of the time, most of the time I see game when your opponent strikes into this fantastic card. Alright, another finisher we have is, let's say you do not go into GBA, this guy is also fantastic. He's a generation rare from the Tactical Booster, one of the greatest generation rares during that era. Rikudo Dragon uh, Tusko Murokaran, long name, but he's a very powerful, uh, he has a very powerful ability. Count Blast 2 and choose a phase down card in your G-Zone and turn it face up. When this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle, you may pay the cost of Count Blast 2. If you do, your opponent chooses 4 cards from his or her hand and bind the rest of them face down. So your opponent's basically just gonna try to survive you uh, with 4 cards in the hand which is very unlikely because if you combo with cards like the great one which I mentioned earlier, you combo with cards like these, your opponent will be left with 3 cards in their hand and they, they are pretty much done for. Um, 3 cards in your hand in this era won't be able to survive a strike unless you have 3 generation guards which, okay, you might still survive, maybe. But don't forget, you still have like a bunch of unit attacking, so it is a very very powerful card. Yeah, it's one of the best finishers. So you have three choices of finishers. Maybe one is for control. These two are mainly our main finishers. So if you're GB8, definitely go with him. Not GB8, go for him. All right. So let's go to G Guardians. Some powerful G Guardians that Nubatama have is for uh, two copies of him. Count plus one and so plus one. Ready to play on Guardian Circle. You can choose one of opponents to grade one regards and move it to your guardian circle. So basically you steal their regards. That's pretty nice because you basically steal one of their great ones to become a 5k shield. It becomes a 20k, 20k shield. Your opponent loses the unit. So it's kind of like a Kagero style of guarding. Now get rid of the, the blaster engine which is the flow, the one coin. Blaster, blaster frame buckle. One copy of the trial deck Trotted Shield. I just use it because um, I play uh, more of these. So basically what she does is whew, when the Sydney spins on the Guardian Circle, you pay the cost of turning a uh, G Guardian face down, face up, sorry. So basically I play 5 because we, if you're playing this type of FC G Guardians, it's recommended you to play 5. Uh, playing 5 also helps you quickly go into your GB8 because she helps you flip up faster. I don't know whether it's a plus or not, but it just helps. She has a fantastic ability. When this place plays on the Guardian Circle, it may pay the cost, your opponent chooses a card to discard from his or her hand. If she does not discard, this is a 35k shield for one single card. So most likely your opponent is just going to discard one card. And I love to make my opponent discard cards because it gives me huge advantage. Especially when you strike into your big guns. Yep. 
Kind of just one screw because it's just a G Guardian then to flip up. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy my deck profile on the Shiranui Obro deck. Uh, if you guys would like to see more uh, deck profiles like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my Facebook page. And if you guys would like to find some Vanguard or Buddy Fight decks, be sure to check out my be sure to check out buddy-mart.com. Links in the description down below. So yeah, we sell decks like these, Vanguards and Buddy Fight. So since um, recently, there are tons of you guys who actually want me to do more Vanguard deck profiles and I want to buy some decks for me. Definitely, ch therefore I actually start selling my decks. Yeah. So yeah, I just sell my decks so that I can get more decks to do more deck profiles. So you guys like will be pleased. So thanks for watching guys. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.